In fiction, some doors lead to an alternate dimension where they reveal incredible secrets. But did you know that there are also some mysterious doors in real life? Doors in real life are meant to be opened and closed, but the doors in this video are all meant to be closed for various reasons. Some of the doors in this video are so mysterious that we still don't know what they hide, even today. If you're looking for some interesting places you can read about, you came to the right place. Join me as we take a look at some of the world's most well-guarded doors. From the door that leads to the murder hotel, to the elusive passageway of Cleopatra's tomb, here are 15 mysterious doors that can never be opened. Number 15. Murder Hotel There are many hotels all around the world, but not all of them guarantee the satisfaction of their guests. For instance, when H.H. H. Holmes built his hotel in 1887, it seems he didn't make the hotel for the satisfaction of his guests. Instead, he created it for his dark desires. Holmes bought an empty lot across Elizabeth S. Holton's drugstore at the northwest corner of South Wallace Avenue and West 63rd Street in Englewood. Soon, Holmes started to build a two-story mixed-use building inclined to be a new drugstore on the first floor, with apartments and retail spaces on the second. Even in its construction, the establishment already had a pretty bad history. You see, it was said that Holmes declined to pay the architects or the steel company, and they sued Holmes in 1888. Several years later, Holmes decided to add a third floor, which he intended to be a hotel, specifically for guests that would come for the World's Columbian Exposition. However, it was never completed. Additionally, the furniture suppliers and investors of Holmes all raged when they weren't paid, and they found out that Holmes was hiding their materials in hidden rooms and passages throughout the establishment. This is where it gets creepy. The whole establishment didn't look like a hotel. There are no comfy chairs or lively colors. Instead, there were soundproof rooms and mazes of hallways that seemingly led to nowhere. And what kind of hotel would have a chute that would drop straight down to the basement filled with acid vats, quicklime, and a crematorium? H.H. H. Holmes never wanted to create a hotel to welcome guests. He wanted to create a murder hotel. You're better off not entering this establishment. There were doors inside that opened to a solid brick wall. Some doors led to a gas chamber, which also automatically locks you in. That's how the name H.H. H. Holmes went down in history. He is known as one of America's first serial killers. Being remembered is great, but not like this. Aside from his murder hotel victims, Holmes was also infamous for committing other crimes. After the police investigated the hotel, most of them couldn't believe what they discovered. Holmes claimed that he killed 27 people, but that's not what some experts say. The number can be as low as 9 or as high as 200. The thing is, we still don't know for sure. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Taj Mahal's Basement We're all probably familiar with the Taj Mahal. This place is one of the greatest architectural marvels on the entire planet and it's known as one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. The entire structure is made of white marble, and it was built between 1631 and 1648. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan ordered the massive mausoleum to be built in memory of his favorite wife. The whole site is surreal. Skilled masons, stonecutters, carvers, painters, and other artists were hired throughout the whole empire, and some workers came from Central Asia and Iran. However, one of the main figureheads of the whole structure was its lead architect, Ustad Ahmad Lahori. The Taj Mahal is an architectural wonder, and you don't need to be an expert to see that. Today, this establishment is visited by thousands to millions of people each year that want to bask in its glory. But did you know that it has a lot of secrets? There are more than 200 rooms in the Taj Mahal, and more than 20 of them are permanently locked. Some experts theorize that they hide the real history of the monument and that they're hiding something that the entirety of the world shouldn't see. Some say that the rooms are merely hiding a shrine of Shiva, the Hindu god, which makes many worshippers excited to witness what's inside the rooms. Most of the rooms were said to be located in the basement of the Taj Mahal, but no one can confirm what's behind these locked doors to this day. Number 13. Isa Grand Shrine you're probably thinking about why a grand shrine is included in this video. The Ise Grand Shrine in Japan is a series of over a hundred shrines, and it's one of the most sacred places in Japan. This amazing place has been in existence ever since 4 BC, 
The shrine is dedicated to the sun goddess Amaterasu. You can explore most of the place, except for the main shrine. Its doors are forbidden for just anyone to enter. If you want to go inside the place, you must either be a member of the Japanese imperial family or a priest or priestess. Only if you meet this condition can you see what the main shrine hides. I won't keep you wondering for long. So what's really inside the main shrine? It's where the sacred mirror, Yata no Kagami, is stored. In Japanese mythology, this sacred mirror was given to the first emperor of Japan by none other than Amaterasu herself. It's no wonder that the shrine where this item is stored is considered to be the holiest and most important site. What's interesting is that the shrine is torn down only to be rebuilt anew every 20 years, and this has been going on for around 1,300 years. This practice is part of the Shinto belief in the death and renewal of nature. This principle is also done to pass the building techniques from one generation to the next. That's pretty smart, don't you think? Number 12. Emperor Kin's Secret Tomb If you enjoy reading about archaeology, then you probably know about the amazing terracotta warriors. These inanimate warriors were said to be created to guard the gigantic mausoleum of Qin Shi Wang, the first emperor of unified China. Let me tell you first about the entire site. The whole complex of the first emperor's tomb is incredibly massive. It covered about 60 square kilometers of land. It is so massive that even the site of the terracotta armies hasn't been completely excavated yet. But what's more surprising is that the tomb of the first emperor hasn't been opened yet either. Its door has never been opened. Probably not because of the reason you're thinking. The Chinese government refuses to open it because of the recommendations of the archaeologists working on the site. They plan to wait until they can obtain a tool or any tech that can safely open the tomb without damaging any of the things inside. It might be true that many are curious about the emperor's tomb, but the government wants to prioritize the safety of the entombed emperor that remained undisturbed for more than two millennia. Nobody has ever been inside the tomb, but out of respect for the elders and for the tomb, it's much better to leave it alone until we finally find a way to excavate it without any consequences. Oh, and the emperor's tomb is also surrounded by an underground moat of poisonous mercury. So there's also that reason. Number 11. Pablo Escobar's safe. Many of us know of the infamous drug lord Pablo Escobar. Some farmers managed to find a metal safe while they were demolishing the former mansion of Escobar in Miami. One of the workers quickly grabbed the gray safe and called the other workers to examine it. I mean, it is a safe that was hidden inside the mansion of a notorious drug king. What could it hide? A huge stack of money? Illegal substances? Gold or diamonds? Who knows? What's more surprising about this safe is that apparently, the owners that bought the four-bedroom mansion in 2014 were unaware of its history. I guess when an establishment is owned by an infamous or popular figure, it's only natural that you'd find something interesting hidden inside. Sadly, we'll never know what's hidden inside the safe. Number 10. The Chambers of the Great Pyramid and the Hall of Records The pyramids in Egypt are one of the most famous archaeological sites in the entire world. It's only natural to be interested in the great Egyptian civilization. We may have already excavated most of Egypt, but one of the greatest mysteries is the interior of the Great Pyramid. For decades, researchers have attempted to uncover the mysteries of the Great Pyramid to understand its purpose in engineering. That was the plan. We finally had technology that can explore or scan the pyramid. But instead of answers, we got more questions instead. After examining the Great Pyramid, Researchers found that it's full of secret chambers and rooms. One of them was a massive void that was about 100 feet long that's located just above the pyramid's grand gallery. Now let's talk about the Hall of Records, because Egypt just has too many secrets. The Hall of Records is said to contain all the essential knowledge of alchemy, astronomy, mathematics, magic, and medicine. Now imagine just how amazing it would be to discover something so incredible. It was said that this hall is located below the paws of the Sphinx, but we still don't know if this place is a myth or reality. I don't know about you, but it seems to me that great libraries or records always seem to be hidden in history. They're either hidden, destroyed, or burnt. Did our ancestors know anything they didn't want us to know about? What do you think? Number 9. Smallpox Vaults In 2015, Bill Gates himself gave a talk about how most countries are all prepared for wars, and yet none are prepared should a disease spread. I don't know if it's just a coincidence or not, but you know what happened in 2020. 
Well, you see, there's another door that shouldn't be opened, or else all of us could suffer once again. Smallpox was a disease with the last reported case being in 1977. By 1980, the World Health Organization officially declared it eradicated, and there is no naturally occurring transmission of the disease anywhere in the world. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist anymore. There are still two labs in the world known to store live samples of the pathogen that causes smallpox. There are also rumors that there are two more countries in the world that still hold on to this sample. And so this poses the question, should we hold on to the live sample to make sure that we can research smallpox if ever it re-emerges? Or should we just eradicate all of the live samples to prevent any accidental or intentional release? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Banff Springs The Banff Springs Hotel is one of the most popular traveling highlights in Canada. It was opened during 1888 during the construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway. The 125-year-old establishment is wonderfully surrounded by a panoramic view, and it has welcomed esteemed people in history from British royalty to Marilyn Monroe. The Banff Hotel still welcomes people, but there is one particular room that won't ever open its doors ever again. Every floor in the Banff Springs has a room ending in 73, except for one. Room 873 is located on the 8th floor of the building, and many claim that they get the heebie-jeebies upon visiting the floor. Room 873 now looks like this. Its doors are demolished and it's been bricked up and covered in drywall. Why exactly did they feel the need to cover this room? It was said that years ago, a family checked into the room, but the father went crazy and took the lives of his wife and daughter. After committing the crime, he proceeded to take his own life. After this horrifying incident, the management of the hotel cleaned the room and refurbished it. And although no traces of the incident could be seen, the next guests of the hotel never had a peaceful night in room 873. Visitors are greeted by bloody handprints, lights that turn on and off in the middle of the night, and finally, they often hear blood-curdling screams. If you're a fan of Stephen King, you probably know which story of his is inspired by this. Don't take my word for it though, the famous author didn't confirm nor deny this. So room 873 will be one of the rooms that we will never see. Some workers in the hotel claim that the management simply wanted to create a bigger suite. But why exactly that room? Number 7. Missing Fabergé Eggs One of the most exciting things about Easter is finding the Easter eggs. It's mostly an occasion for kids. But if the Easter eggs you'll be finding are like the legendary Fabergé eggs, then most adults will join the hunt. These eggs were ordered by Russia's Romanov Imperial family from none other than Peter Karl Fabergé. The very first jeweled egg was commissioned by Tsar Alexander III as a gift for his wife, Empress Maria Fedorovna. The Tsar found the jeweled egg so beautiful that he immediately ordered one the following year, the year after that, and the year after, until it became an annual tradition that continued until the end of the House of Romanov's three-century reign. Some of the 69 known Fabergé eggs are on display in various places today. There are seven eggs still missing and one of them is said to be hidden in a vault in a Lancashire bank vault. If the treasure is hidden in the vault, it would be a 30 million pound treasure. Relatives of a deceased Cold War spy claim that the spy owned a bejeweled egg which he used to show to his relatives. The man was also said to carry the egg in his pockets. In the records, traces of the egg were last seen in a jewel shop in London where it was sold to a customer that signed himself in as Stranger in 1952. Number 6. Room 39, North Korea. If there's anything in the world that we can never access, it's probably none other than North Korea's Room 39. The country's leader is known for his luxurious lifestyle, and the secret is hidden behind the door of Room 39, which is an office located in the government headquarters in Pyongyang. Essentially, this room exists so that the elites of the country can keep living in luxury. This is where agents do dirty work for the elites to maintain their lavish lifestyle. This mysterious organization is said to rake in between $500 million and $1 billion per year. Hidden in this room is the reason why the elites never run out of money to buy expensive things like Rolex watches, Mercedes, cognacs, and private islands. The story behind this room is still foggy, but defectors have started to spill the mysteries it hides. Number 5. Treasure Under Machu Picchu What's more intriguing than hidden treasure, am I right? Throughout history, Many have been trying to discover treasures left behind by our ancestors. 
Machu Picchu is one of the most visited destinations in Peru. It was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983 and was later on named one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. The entirety of Machu Picchu is made up of more than 150 buildings ranging from houses, temples and sanctuaries. There are many theories that Machu Picchu exists as a royal estate and a secret ceremonial center. There have been many artifacts found in this area, ranging from ceramic vessels, jewelry, to human remains. After exploring the site once again, researchers announced they found a hidden chamber behind its walls that were built around 1450. Researchers think that this may be the location of an Inca ruler. If the researchers ever find the doors to this place, there's a huge chance that the chamber would contain treasures like gold and amazing jewelry. Number 4. Padmanabhaswami Temple The Padmanabhaswami Temple is one of the world's richest shrines. The temple is said to have six vaults and one of its chambers remains unopened. The whole temple itself is a wonder. The whole structure is gold-plated, which isn't surprising considering it houses what is said to contain treasure that is worth over one trillion dollars. Many may be ecstatic about this information. This hidden chamber might contain treasure, but nobody wants to dare open the door. I mean, just take a look at this door. Many people might be fascinated by this chamber, but out of respect and fear, it has been left sealed. It's rumored that two enormous cobras are protecting the hidden chamber to make sure that anyone that dares to disturb what lies within will meet a terrible end. As if that isn't bad enough, it's also said that anyone who opens that vault might unleash a curse on the world. This chamber is also known as Vault B. There are six vaults in total, and Vault B is the only one that has never been opened. You're probably wondering what the other vaults contained. Well, nothing but massive piles of jewels, idols, and coins. Number 3. Humanity's Last Salvation You might not be able to open the doors of the Global Seed Vault, but you don't need to think much about what lies inside it. Located on an island above the Arctic Circle between Norway and the North Pole lies the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, and it's one of humanity's only salvation should doomsday occur. Just like Noah's Ark, the Global Seed Vault aims to store all of the seeds in the world. Imagine this huge building is a treasure unlike no other, almost 13,000 years of agricultural history. Aside from the fact that the vault can only be entered by authorities, the Doomsday Vault is also located in a remote area that you can't reach easily. But should humanity meet its end, this vault will remain safe and the new generation can get started again through the seeds in this vault. Number 2. Winchester Mansion Unlike the other doors in this video, there are no rules saying that you can't enter the Winchester Mystery House. On the contrary, you're even welcome to visit the place. That is, if you dare. The Winchester House has long been shrouded in mystery. Where else can you find a house with 160 bedrooms, 47 fireplaces, many staircases, 10,000 windows, and 2,000 doors? That's right, you can only find it in the 2,229 square meter Winchester Mystery House. Its construction started in 1884 after the widowed wife of the inventor of the Winchester rifle, Sarah Winchester, was advised by a psychic. You see, Sarah was one of the richest women of her time. She earned approximately $1,000 per day without breaking a sweat. You might think that's still pretty small, but $1,000, considering inflation and the value of money today, equals more than $20,000 a day in today's money. So what drove her to build such a bizarre mansion? It was said that Sarah was haunted by the ghosts of all the people killed by the Winchester rifle, and to appease them, this maze of a house was built. The construction of the house continued until Sarah's death. This led to doors that lead to nowhere, windows that face a wall, stairs that lead to a dead end, and of course, a door that leads to an alarming drop to the yard below. If you ever visit this establishment, you better stick to the crowd, because aside from its sheer size and weirdness, there are many claims that this house is haunted. Number 1. Cleopatra's Tomb the doors of Cleopatra's tomb will most likely remain unopened forever because it's been lost for more than 2,000 years. Cleopatra was the last queen of Egypt and she's been the center of archaeologists' intrigue and curiosity. Books and movies today depict Cleopatra as a beautiful seductress with a sharp mind. But according to historians, her charm came from her intelligence and charisma. Cleopatra soon represented what we now call the femme fatale. 
She actively influenced Roman politics, and she's also known for her relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Despite being one of the most prominent figures of ancient Egypt, her tomb was never found. When the future Roman emperor arrived, Cleopatra's husband Mark Antony took his own life after having the false impression that his queen was long dead. After learning about this, Cleopatra buried her husband in an unknown location and took her own life. In her final breath, she made sure that no one would ever find both of their final resting places. Did you enjoy unraveling the mystery of these doors? If you did, let me know about your favorite entry in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.